relationship between former presidents Thabo Mbeki and Jacob Zuma. We touched on the Malema issue in the ANC Youth League. Now, let's talk about a very close subject to her heart. You, you've been party to, to the family on many occasions. The children, Zizi and Zanani, how close were they to Mama? They were very close to their mom because you'd recall that when former President Nelson Mandela was in prison, she became a mother and the father figure in the house. And uh, they also experienced all the humiliation that was muted against her by the brutal apartheid system. I mean, she would be taken uh, from her home early hours of the morning and taken to prison, stay in prison for quite a long time, leaving the children behind. When she was sent to uh, Branford, as I indicated earlier on, a little Zinzi was crying, not knowing what's going to happen and where they were going. And uh, her mom said to her, let's go, we are going and we'll see. And they went there and they grew up you know, she grew up there and she had to make friends with people. And she indicated to me when I spoke to her in 2012, Zinzi, that uh, when she arrived here, she felt like an outcast because people were very scared to interact with Mama Winnie because the apartheid system had uh, influenced the community in Brantford not to interact with her because they were scared that they would be arrested. But finally, she did find a way to ensure that her child uh, was welcomed in the community. She was able to play with other children. And uh, yes, it was a very difficult uh, situation for her yeah. and that is why they are so close and yesterday when I was in the house I went inside because I was called inside I was able to speak to Zinzi yeah. yes she is very very hurt and uh, particularly Auzotwa there's a lady called Auzotwa since Zotwa is the lady who was there you know supporting Mamuini she was the PA all the time she was around her I remember when I was in Zimbabwe after the interview with uh, uh, former president Robert Mugabe she called me to say hey I want Mama to watch that interview. You know, that's how close they were, always uh, talking to each other. But also I was always uh, called and they would give me information in terms of uh, her health and her situation. At times you'd ask them to say, uh, uh, call Sophie, tell her I miss my kids and she must check my kids also. All right. And... Um Let's just summarize the exclusive interview that you had, you had with her back in 2014. I mean, we had some uh, clips here earlier on the news at 8 o'clock. But if you were to summarize Mamuini back then in 2014 and the Mamuini that you met during the registration weekend a few weeks ago, do you think where she is now? Did she die a happy soul? Well, in 2014, she wasn't a happy soul. Uh, she wasn't a happy person, a happy woman, a happy politician, a happy activist then. Because you'd recall it was after the passing on of former President Nelson Mandela. And you know very well that uh, during that time when Tata was in hospital, she was always there you know, visiting Utada and, you know, that long process of mourning and that torture, you know. And then secondly, she was very, very concerned then about the ANC. You know what was happening in the ANC. And uh, she was very aggrieved. It is for that reason when you listen to that interview, mm. she talks about the the, the, the state of the organization, not only the state of the organization, but the state of the country. And also she was aggrieved. She felt that the Women's League and the women in this country are not really doing enough to push for the emancipation of women. And we are regressing. And indeed, come 2017 ANC conference, what happened? Women were humiliated. But uh, when I spoke to her a few weeks ago at Maponya Mall, at Nando's, we were sitting there, myself and Mahlatsi Gallens. She was a very, very happy person. Mm. In, starting from inside the polling station where she was checking her details, she was very, very happy because I was able to even pose a question. And she said she was happy and she was very upbeat and saying, yeah, we're going to uh, campaign, we'll win as the party and mm. all that. At Maponya Mall, she was very happy mm. saying uh, she feels uh, perhaps ANC has kind of realized the mistakes and they will correct the mistakes and she was very happy to be next to the ANC uh, president because after checking her details they went to uh, Villagaza Street yes. to have lunch, lunch together, when yes. they want to take her back home she refused mm -hmm. she said to the president I, I want to go with you to Mopanya Mall and you know his health I mean there was no way she could walk around Mopanya Mall and she was just there in spirit and she waited at uh, Nando's and that's where I, I was told to go and see her and we we spoke at length yeah. about many issues touching uh, <coughs> you know starting from what she went through as a woman what she went through talking as an about activist. what she went 
through as a woman on Sophie. Obviously, she's regarded as a symbol of abuse of women during the apartheid regime and a symbol of the struggle that women had to go through. But taking into consideration what she had to go through as a deputy minister in the former cabinet and how she was also removed in parliament, do you think she is celebrated sufficiently so? Well, she is not. Truth be told, she is not, like many other women. I mean, you take, for an example, people like Mabel Albertina Sisulu. It's only now a second thought. She's part of the 100 years centenary. Mm -hmm. You go to the late Mam Apanet uh, Mbegi. You know, a woman who was there in the countryside alongside his people who never came to this uh, uh, skylights and, you know, enjoyed uh, the son being a, a president, the husband being a prominent politician. The same with uh, Bome Matambo and many other unsung heroes. There are many women. When you read, when you look around, you know, who are not celebrated. I think uh, for women, it's not yet Uhuru. All right, so if you will leave it at that, thank you so much to uh, SABC News, the acting political editor, uh, Sophie Mugwe, and I believe also if we will be talking to you throughout the week um, as we are, of course, working towards the funeral service of Omam Winnie Madikizalama.